Hey, how's it going, guys? Mush back at it with another video, and I want to do a quick little video letting you guys know that the all-new Steam library is in beta right now. Now, the beta looks awesome. You can join right now. Everyone is invited, and you can check out the beta library right now. I think it's a sleek update to Steam altogether, and I'm really liking where they're going. I know some people aren't as high on it as I am, but I think it looks really good. So, the all-new Steam library, it was noted Steam library is getting a makeover to make it better looking, more relevant, and more powerful than ever before welcome home the new library home gives you quick access to game updates recently played games friends activity and collections updates and they also segment out every little area of the new library as well you've got updates when games in your library receive an update or host an event you'll be the first to know click on an event to browse all the recent updates for that game then there's also a recent tab if you want to pick up where you left off this shelf shows you the games you played or purchased most recently just push the big green button to jump right back into the action then if you want to socialize with your friends a friend activity is also a section looking to socialize you can see what your friends have been up to and which games they are currently playing you might even find a new game worth picking up there so i think that's a really good idea into also promoting games and marketing games especially those that are multiplayer focused although you would also think that if friends are playing a game the game is probably already somewhat popular but nonetheless you guys get the idea it really does tailor you to play the games that your friends are also playing so I definitely can get behind that as well. Then you've got custom shelves. Customize your library homepage however you want. Add a custom shelf or 10 shelves. The choice is up to you. Highlight your favorite collections or just show off all your games. So obviously, one element of the new library update is customizability and tailoring your experience exactly how you want to. Custom shelves add a layer to that. So pretty cool that they're adding that as well. They also note everything in one place. Game pages find a whole new world of useful information and content on your game detail page. They specifically show off No Man's Sky Beyond and it notes major update No Man's Sky Beyond out now friends who have played recently you've got your achievements there you've got activity there as well that has all the news so that's really good and getting all of the information in one section then of course you've got the store page community hub find groups discussions guides workshop and then a support page as well then obviously you've got your last played section how many hours you played Honestly speaking, is there anything that is super, super different than the current Steam layout? No, but I do think it's important that you give Steam a unique look every now and again. Now, I'm not saying we got to change the Steam layout every year, every other year, or hell, even every five years, but how long has Steam looked generally this way? There's been some refinements made, but it's not like a console. We're always on PC, so generally, the layout has been the same, where I think for Steam, I do think that every 10 years or so, there is an update waited to be had, and you you could do a major overhaul as long as it is improving the overall user experience. I'm not saying just do an overhaul for the sake of doing an overhaul, although an aesthetic change is definitely nice and lets us know that, hey, this is the beginning of kind of a new era for Steam, and maybe that's what some people are going to take this as. Maybe some people are going to be a little bit off-put and they want to stick to how Steam looks like. Honestly, I don't know how you could be that upset with the Steam layout right now, and at the very least, they gave you an idea that the Steam layout was changing. It's not some other services, which I won't name any services, but Sometimes you got your favorite websites, favorite software, and they randomly get a user interface change without letting anyone know. This library update has been in the works for a very long time, and now they have finally delivered on it. They also know that they want you to be able to get organized. Your library is your gaming history. It should be a pleasure to pursue. The new Steam library makes it quick and easy to explore, sort, hide, and feature your games. This is, I think, huge because somebody like me that does have north of 500 games on Steam, maybe it's even at 600. Let me actually go check the official number right now because I always seem to get comments about how many games I have on Steam. The official number for those of you that are curious about how big my Steam library is, now this is over the course of seven years, seven plus years, is 610 games. So yes, when you have 610 games, and I know a lot of you guys have more games than that, it's hard to really figure out every single game on your list and make sure you are aware of every game on your library because a lot of us are just getting games through these services like Humble Monthly, Humble Bundles, Bundles in general, and they go a little bit to the wayside, but now your library is your gaming history, and the new Steam library is looking to make it quick and easy to explore, sort, hide, and feature your games. Hiding games is also a nice addition. I believe you can do that right now, but hiding some of those games that I have no urge to ever play, that's also very nice. They also note something for developers to power the new library features. We've also rolled out new tools for posting events and announcements. We're giving you more control and flexibility than ever before to communicate with players through the store. They also have a section to learn more 
more about the new developer event tools. For me, this is something very significant. Obviously, it's in beta right now, so there are going to be some issues here and there, but let's hope they can iron everything out and make Steam an even more compelling experience after this is rolled out. As long as the user interface is top-notch, that is what I'm going to be happy with. And it looks like Steam has been making some strides in terms of making the overall experience better. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Steam has a litany of issues still. Some of their support issues are so incredibly annoying, but let's hope they get everything remedied at some point. And let's just hope the experience gets better and better. When you have a colossal service like Steam with so many users, so many complaints to be had, it's impossible that one day they're going to get everything right. But the better experience it is, the more they can make a positive stride towards creating a more compelling service for the user, for the user to find their games, for the user to easily access their games, organize their games, whatever the case may be. If they can innovate a little bit with the little things in Steam, I think that's what's essentially going to make the overall experience better. Things like the Steam library at the end of the day, is it a colossal change that's going to have massive ramification towards the entire Steam user base? No, not necessarily. However, this coupled with things like the Steam search store changes and all of the other elements they're introducing, hopefully at the end of the day, you do want to create a service that is getting better and better and that does have upward mobility and I think that's what Steam is aiming for. By the way, alongside the updated library, there is a Frontier 25 year sale. A bunch of game discounts are available right now. There's a Monster Hunter World discount, so they're rolling out a couple of nice deals along with the library update. I don't know if this was done intentionally. Steam usually has pretty good deals, so it's probably just a coincidence. I thought I would just mention that as well. And then Devil Hunts also came out today and I believe AI the Seminium files was also released today, although I don't see it on my Steam page right now. Nonetheless, some exciting times for Steam. Hopefully, they continue to just get better and better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Are you upset about the changes? Do you just prefer the original simplistic Steam layout, or are you excited for some changes? Steam has had a fairly similar layout for a very long time, so me personally, I welcome change and I'm hoping for the best out of this one. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.